Hey, what's going on everybody? Good morning. Just wanted to put up a video real quick on this vlog. Um, I'm waiting on a package from UPS and a package from uh, FedEx. Like I was saying in my video or in my post yesterday that there was going to be two treats coming, so stay tuned. Hey, what's going on guys? We just got a package from the UPS guy that has our CDOS green camera mount with tripod uh, also it has lenses and a remote control with it um, I've already opened the package so I can make sure everything was in it but um this is the package here I can't really tell you which which way it's supposed to go it's supposed to go like this or it's supposed to go like this I think it's supposed to go like this but it has a bunch of our information on it so I'm not going to be showing that too much um, also it came in with this box here, which I believe is like this, I think, or maybe it's like this. I don't I think mean, I can't really tell. But we're not going to worry too much about that part there. Um, the main focus for this YouTube video is for the CDOS green tripod camera mount with stand or with holder and velvet bag. So we're going to get right into it. Um, first off, I will show you this little dinghy. This is the holder uh, for your iPhone. It'll fit the, I believe, 6 Plus, 6, 5S, 5C, and 5, 4S, and 4. And uh, it's very well constructed. I mean, it's very nice. It don't look like it's going to break very easily. And it's got also stretchiness to it so you can be able to open it up and put your phone inside of her. Hopefully my phone is actually that wide. Yeah, it looks like this is actually going to be a landscape holder, which is fine. That'll still work for me regardless, uh, no matter what. But we put that aside and we got the velvet bag here, which I already put the uh, lenses and stuff in it to make sure it actually fit but we're gonna pull out first is the ta -da -da, the holder for it for the lenses that will actually will clip on to your phone portrait or landscape mode or whatever way that you um, want to be able to do it and put that aside we have the remote control which I believe runs through Bluetooth so that'll be very nice with me so I can be able to do videos without having to touch the screen all the time to start and stop the video. The one big button here I guess will be able to start and stop. I'm hoping that it'll actually work for uh, for videos as well, not just camera. So I don't know if it lights up or not, but I just have to remember to make sure... It stays up, I guess. Up for off, down for on. So we move on to next. We have two different camera lenses, which is very nice. That'll be good for my videos. We have the. If I can get this off without breaking the lens, that would really not be cool. Oh, once they're on there, they're on there. Bear with me for a second. Man, once they're on there, you never get them off. Ah, there we go. This is the wide lens, I believe, for the camera. And on the back here, it has like these little ridges here that will screw into this here, which I'll show you on this one here. You just take this, put this back end here, and put it into the holder screw it on and there you go you got an automatic wide screen lens on your phone and on the back side here I can't really show you but the back side has got an opening for the the camera on your iPhone 
to be able to look through and it will bring the picture in a lot clearer with these uh, with these lenses which I'm looking forward to for more of my future videos um, and vlogs as well so I'm going to put this back on here snaps on there fit snug the next one we have these are very nice little bags here we have the I think this is the fish eye or I believe it's a smaller lens I think it's more direct and on point with this with this camera with this lens here so this is very nice and also I'll show you on the holder for it you just put it on there twist it on make sure it's nice and snug and bada bing bada boom you got another lens right there for I think these I think this one here is for like a very close-up shot on a picture or a video you want to take a picture or a video and you want to get real close in depth into that picture or video and get good footage that's one that's one <clears throat> that is what that one's for say it ten times fast okay I'm gonna put the cap back on here put this aside and it came with this nice I would say very nice velvet bag to hold your remote control and your lenses in so they won't get scratched up that's very nice they got the two little drawstrings on the side you just pull lock close it right in place and keeps it nice and secure so good idea from CDOS very good design on the lenses and very good design on the uh, uh, iPhone holder here next is the tripod boom this is a very nice very good looking tripod I thought it was gonna be all plastic and just rubber on the feet but there is actually rubber grips around each single ball joint they have in this uh, in this uh, on this device here or not device on this uh, tripod You can bend them in any direction. You can bend them all where they just wrap around like that. So if you're trying to hold on to something, boom, it'll hold right onto it. Which is very nice construction. Very nice. You just straighten that bad boy back out. And we have the what is this? Oh, it's the quick release. So if you want to take a video, pop this off. Which is already off already. It's actually on the um, on the holder here this is right here at the bottom and let's see if I can line it up correctly you just put it on here I believe this goes this way takes a couple tries uh, I had it backwards you just put it in place and push in Make sure it's even first before you do it. Push in. It's not going in now. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Interesting. Let's try it this way, the front end. Yeah, I had it backwards. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is something new to me, so forgive me for that one. But this is what it looks like. It's got the mount here for the iPhone. It's got a nice little pull tab right here. It'll pull up on your spring loaded here. You have little feet right here. It's a rubber padding here to put your phone on. And up top here, it's got a nice little rubber grip, and it will not damage your phone. Um, I 
Yeah, that looks very nice. Very secure, very snug. The spring on this is perfect. I mean, simply just perfect. All right, guys, we are now using the wireless remote control for this uh, for this review, actually. And I'm using the wide view lens, so I'm hoping that, uh, well, I said face-centered on my voiceover, so I know, I guess for a fact, I guess it's, uh, it's there. So we're going to try the uh, other lens and uh, see which one you guys think is the best. Alrighty. What's going on guys? We are now using the smaller facing camera on this, on the lens, and uh, well, hopefully everything looks good. So if you guys like this video, comment, like, and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.